Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have just posted with the release of Windows 11 build 2349, which made its way to the Dev Channel Insiders on the 29th of June, um, one of the first key highlights was that Microsoft um, included the new AI-powered Copilot. And I'll leave a link to that video I just posted a short while ago down below. Now, another key highlight that Microsoft rolled out in that latest Dev Channel build, as we can see, is a new look for the Settings app which now includes a new um, settings homepage, which is currently unavailable in the stable version, which Microsoft says provides an overview of your device, quick access to key settings, and helps manage your Microsoft account. So basically, they are introducing these so-called cards, which are now becoming like quick shortcuts um, on your homepage of your settings app, where previously all these were actually just buried a lot deeper in the actual settings of your settings app, and now they are these quick shortcut cards that give you a quick overview of your device to give you quick access to key settings. Now, just um, having a little bit more of a deeper look at this, um, Microsoft say they created interactive cards that represent various device and account-related settings, as we can see from the screenshot provided, grouped by commonly accessed functions. Each card is optimized to offer the most relevant information and controls, Microsoft says. In this release, you'll see up to seven cards with more coming soon. So, Although there are seven cards available, as mentioned, there are still more coming in the future. Now, here's an overview of each card, just a quick overview for the purpose of today's video. Uh, the recommended settings here to the top left. Microsoft says this card adapts to your specific usage patterns, providing um, timely and relevant settings options. It's designed to streamline your settings management and save you time. So obviously this will uh, pick up your your usage and then obviously recommend those different settings so if you are using display sound and search permissions as an example on a regular basis those will be displayed as recommended settings then we move on to the top right cloud storage this gives you an overview of your cloud storage use and lets you know when you're nearing capacity which speaks for itself and then we get account recovery just below that never lose access to your account where Microsoft says this helps keep your Microsoft account more secure by helping you add additional recovery info. And then yet to the bottom left of this screenshot, we get personalization, which offers one-click access to update your background theme or change your color mode. And obviously personalization to personalize your device was buried deeper in the personalization settings uh, before these cards were available. So you can either head to your personalization or you can just click on the personalization options now from your actual home screen as a quick shortcut. And then yet to the bottom right of this screenshot, we get the Microsoft 365 card, which um, gives you a quick glimpse of your subscription status and benefits along with the ability to take some key actions right in settings instead of going to the web. And then just a quick side note here. One thing Microsoft does fail to mention regarding the Microsoft 365 card is that once again, they are using Windows 11 to advertise their products. So this is basically another advert for Microsoft 365, and they are using the Microsoft 365 card to promote uh, their office software, um, obviously, if you haven't yet subscribed to Microsoft 365. So that's unfortunately another ad that's made its way and will be making its way possibly into the home screen in the future of the settings app. And then two cards we cannot see in this screenshot, but I'm just going to mention them quickly for the purpose of today's video. Uh, the sixth card um, is the Xbox card, which um, says um, Microsoft says you'll be able to view your subscription status and manage the subscription from the settings app. And then the seventh card available which is not available in this screenshot and we cannot see it in this screenshot is the bluetooth devices which is there to simplify your bluetooth device management experience and um, microsoft say they've brought this to the forefront so you can quickly access and connect to your bluetooth enabled devices and as mentioned this is basically like a home page with quick shortcuts that uh, give you access to actions directly from the home page giving you access to those with just one click. And as a quick reference, and just to put this all into perspective, if we head over to the current settings app in the stable version of Windows 11 22H2, um, the so-called home page currently for the settings app is your system page, as many of you may know. And that home page section will be appearing here at the top as mentioned. So um, the new settings home page uh, rolling out now in this week's uh, Dev Channel build, as mentioned, which is build 
2349, which rolled out to the Dev Channel Insiders on the 29th of June. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.